Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's discussion is intense first date questions should be avoided. Now, a lot of people might agree, disagree with me on this conversation because they feel I've got one date to make, figure out if I'm going to like this person, they're going to like me, I want to get everything out in the open right away to find out because I don't want to waste my time. The problem with this is it becomes very intense because a lot of people have the same question line for the same or for everybody that they date. And this isn't really a good idea because everybody you're dating is going to be different. So you should be looking at each person individually and talk to them accordingly because they may have already told you if you've met them online that about well, their profile, maybe they've got um, a child, maybe they've already told you what kind of career they have. All those things can already be addressed in a few text messages as well. So what you want to do moving forward is the things that you do know about them that you've already learned about them, expand on that conversation. You've already got a little bit of a, you know, preview of what they are, who they are, maybe things they like. Go with that rather than sitting down, you know, do you want kids? Do you want this? You know, all those sort of things that everybody wants to know right away. That is a scary place to be on a date. I've had it happen to me and I prefer just to get to know somebody, see if I even like them first. Why do I want to tell them all these things about myself that are personal to that level? Those are something that you talk about later when you're deciding if you're going to be in a relationship with them. They don't need to know every single thing about you that's personal right away. The best way to approach it is to be show them the fun side of you. So don't ask the questions that are interrogating you know, personal things that are going to make them on guard and defensive because that's what happens. I mean, think about it. If you're doing it like an interview, when you're sitting in an interview for a job, you're tense. You're not exactly sitting back and, and excited about the situation. You're very nervous about how you're going to respond. You want your date to feel as comfortable as possible. You don't have to ask the tough questions right away. You want to see seriously if you even like them. You don't have to put all those things out there that are going to make them on guard because that might not even be really who they are, but they just feel like they're being pressured. And nobody likes to feel that way because it changes how our persona. It changes who we are, the way we talk to somebody when we're, you know, feeling kind of pushed into a corner. So if you really want to get to know who they are and find out if there's a fit and you guys click together, be the fun you. Be the person that you want them to see. If you want somebody who is energetic and likes to go and do all these fun, sporty things, talk about some of those things. See what they like to do. Maybe you guys can even plan a date if you decide you want to get to know them. Uh, a bit better, you can plan a date the next time because you found out what it is that they enjoy as well. It's so hard going on dates. It really is. And people have a hard time getting past the first date. And the majority of the reason for that is because of the question line and how everybody's approaching it. Nobody's just sitting down talking like they're just friends and having fun. If you ask them more things more about maybe holidays or you know what they do for fun when they're not being interrogated on a date, you know stuff like this, you will find the real person more because when somebody is pushing you into a corner, the first thing that we do is become defensive. We push back or we shut down. Just get to know them a little bit more. Give them a chance. You know, I, I think that people are just so quick to walk away now. And that's really the sad part of dating. And this is why everybody's fed up. Nobody has time to give another person to just figure out who they are a little bit, just a little bit. Going back to my, my past dating experiences, I would have people say, why are you still single? Why are you divorced? Um, I don't really like dating single mothers. You know, I... I don't uh, want to live here. I want to move. Would you be okay with that? I mean, all these things on the first date, very, very strong, opinionated questions. 
it just really makes you sort of pull back and just say, whoa, this person's way too intense for me. I don't want to see them again. Repetitive and rigid questions make people uncomfortable. It's just that simple. And if you want the person that's sitting across from you to feel like they can talk to you, they can open up, they can laugh, they can be playful, make them feel they can be. Leave the checklist at home. Look at the person you're sitting there across from and ask them questions to who they are in front of you. What do you see about them that you want to know more of? If they're quiet or a little bit shy, you open up the conversation. Tell them what you like to do, what's fun, what you, you something maybe you want to do on a trip coming up. Little things like that just to open the door. And on your first date, if you're feeling uncomfortable or you're, you know, you don't want to try to do the rigid kind of question line, get up and go for a walk somewhere. Get out of this where you're staring right at each other's faces because that can be a problem too. That can make people feel very uncomfortable. If you're out for a walk and you're sort of talking side by side to each other, it's a little easier to sort of let your guard down and just be a little bit more flowy with your conversation. There's all sorts of little tricks you can do that doesn't make it feel like it's, you know, a job interview. Lighten it up and have some fun. It's because not everybody's been dating for a long time. There's people that are just newly dating, coming out of a, a breakup or, or, or a marriage or something like that, and you want it to be as comfortable as possible. So make sure the venues is a comfortable place, ask them comfortable, fun questions, show them your fun side, and get to know them. If you like them on the spot, tell them you'd like to see them again. No games. Let them know. Text them after you leave saying you had a good time. The more honest and open you are on that date, playfully, the more you're going to see if you connect with somebody. And that's what dating is all about. Don't shut the door before you even allow them to be a little bit of who they are. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. I will be back next Wednesday, and if you have any show topics for me, please leave them in the comment section. I always love hearing from you. Thank you so much, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye.